just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. The clip that you just saw pretty much expresses what I have to say about this video. I mean, of course you guys know that I've made countless videos on feminism. Countless. And I have destroyed each particular feminist video by hand. And I've been doing this for quite some time. And is this video any different? Most likely not. And yet, I make a video response to a girl named Sake War. That's, that's the YouTube account. But she has a series called Welcome to My Vagina. And it seems to me that she has a few... Uh, seems to have a bit of an obsession with her vagina. I mean, just... No, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with liking your own vagina. But I think you're taking this a bit too far in, of drawing vagina people. Vagina people. You have some serious fucking issues, don't you? And hell, I've been on the internet for years. I've seen pornography worse than this. But this one, but the fact that this is on YouTube and the fact that nobody flagged it down is really just shocking. I'm not saying it should be flagged down, but I'm surprised YouTube is allowing this. So without further ado, let's just watch this video and hopefully my sanity is still intact. My cock is on the hunt. Women against feminism? Yesterday I walked to the post office. In my pajamas. And heard, hey, Red, can I walk next to all that tasty? Ew! At work, when I expressed that I was a feminist, a man went, Does that mean you're a lesbian? First of all, that is not a bad word. Oh, jeez. I wonder where this is going to lead up to. Seriously, if I had a dollar for every time I hear that, I'd be able to buy a fucking mansion. You don't have to whisper it. Second of all, there has been some confusion as to what feminism actually means. The belief that women are and should be treated as potential intellectual and social equals to men. Look, I'm just gonna state this out. I do not care about the definition of a word, okay? Your beliefs are fine. It's the things that you say that is complete bullshit. And I can tell that this video is going to contain the wage gap argument. And I know these sort of videos. I've been in this situation over and over and over again. And I am getting sick and tired of it. So I'm just going to state this out. I don't give a fuck about the definition. What I care is the actions. So let's The basic principle that just because human bodies are designed to perform certain procreative functions You did this to me, you miserable piece of dick brain horseshit! Biological elements should not dictate intellectual or social functions. Don't you realize that women are physically weaker than men? Not to say, you know, not, not to ignore the fact that there are some women out there that are physically stronger than the average man, but the average woman is still physically weaker than that of a man. Let, let, me, let me show you just an example. I'm gonna quote from Spike Yum, okay? Spike Yum, this is for you. And to quote from the first paragraph. You say that biological elements should not Dictate, di sorry, dictate capabilities. However, that is exactly what the biological differences between the sexes are for. To be capable of different things. For example, military and other physical fitnesses requires, re requirements required to enter a certain position. 
However, the physical fitness test requirements have been lowered for women. So, sh so should that not have? Of I'm sorry. So should that not have happened? If our biological differences should not reflect our capabilities. As a result, women would not be able to get in certain positions, which is why feminists are were outraged about it and wanted the required to be lowered to fit women. So what's the deal? You can't say feminism is about one thing while well, it does the complete opposite. That comment right there pretty much just destroys her argument right there capabilities or rights. It embraces the belief that all people, all people, are entitled to freedom and liberty within reason. Careful. Discrimination should not be based on gender, sexual orientation, skin color, culture, ethnicity, religion, or life. The funny thing is, is that you don't have to be a feminist in order to support any of these things. I mean, I'm an humanist, an egalitarianist. I don't need feminism to do that. Back in July, the Tumblr Women Against Feminism rose to national prominence and has continued to upload pictures of what I hate to consider women because frankly I'm ashamed that they're a member of my gender. You're ashamed to call them women because they oppose feminism. Something that you, I guess you idolize it. Just, mu just as much as you idolize your own freaking vagina you look down on these women because they oppose feminism and you're ashamed to call them women you're ashamed to be to have the same sex as these people these individuals who oppose feminism Bravo, you piece of shit. You do not represent women. You do not represent feminism as well. The, the fact that you look down upon these women for having a vagina and to oppose feminism, you, you make me sick to my stomach. Which is one of the reasons why I'm making a video response to you. Because... Out of all the feminist videos that I've come across with, this one truly makes me want to vomit. The fact that you actually said that, just, you know, makes me just, there, there is no emotion for you. There, there's none whatsoever. And if you were to represent women or feminism, I'd turn gay. I would literally you know make a video telling everyone that the christians were right and that being gay is a choice luckily and thankfully you do not represent the female race when i looked at this tumblr i wish they'd just taken a shit on a piece of paper and smeared i'm an idiot if you actually took a shit on your video it would actually be an upgrade Let's start with Felicia here. Oh, you don't know Felicia? Felicia is when someone says they're leaving, and you could really give two shits. Their name becomes Felicia, a random bitch that nobody's sad to see go. And I wish these women would go somewhere far, 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 far away. You know, if I compare this individual towards Lacey Green, I would actually like Lacey Green a lot more than this individual. Because even though Lacey Green is very dumb, she doesn't respond to criticism. At least in her videos, she doesn't hold her head up high like some sort of high and mighty queen. Look down on other people and say, You people who oppose this feminism, you don't deserve to call yourself women. Or humans, you disgust me. Back to Felicia. Felicia, we don't have equal rights. Guess who told me that? His name's Statistics. You should read him. He's a cool guy. Oh, you meant Statistic. Haha. <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, the funny thing is, though, that um, <laughs> me and him have been working on a few projects, and it's mostly just about on how feminism just plain flat out fails. 
In 2013, there were 700 bills proposed to regulate a woman's body. For men, zip, zero, nada. That's because men have barely any reproductive rights whatsoever. That and, uh, let's see, oh yeah, they cannot forfeit parental responsibility. Yes. You women are truly oppressed. In Yemen, a woman is considered half a witness and cannot leave the house without her husband's permission. Seems equal enough. In Saudi Arabia and Vatican City, women still can't vote. Thought we fixed that problem with Susan B. Anthony. Okay, yes, these are true. These are unfortunate facts right here. However, there is just two things wrong. One, if it's really that important for you to focus on it, then maybe the very first thing you should do is realize that women in third world countries have it worse than you. <clears throat> yes, just let us think thing. Women in third world countries have it worse than you. So wouldn't it make sense to gather up all your feminist friends, spread awareness, and then, oh geez, I don't know, help these women in third world countries? <sighs> and let's see, what else? Oh yes, and two, how is feminism going to fix the problem? What, is feminism just going to give you superpowers in order to stop this? Because I really doubt that. Hell, uh, why feminism anyway? Why not egalitarianism or humanism? Explain, please. But Felicia, no, you may not be a victim, but one in five women in the U.S. are sexually assaulted. You know, this pretty much explains it all. It explains itself. Links in the description. I would love to see the likes of Unseen Purity and um, Sequester Zone try to debunk this. And let's not forget that men are basically just as much as victims as women when it comes to violence. The funny thing is, though, is that when it's violence against, you know, violence against men, it's not taken as seriously as violence against women. And not to mention that um, men are the majority of being victims of rape when it comes to being in prison. And yeah, there are plenty of stuff that I can go over but I would feel I feel like I'm just making this video even longer than it has to though men remain the overwhelming majority of perpetrators of rape they can also be victims and we should fight against that too because one in 71 men are raped you see the tone of her voice it pretty much comes to shove that she doesn't really care about that the reason that women are fighting so hard is that a staggering one in five women is an epidemic. In India, an average of 93 women per day are reporting rape, and who knows how many people are too afraid to come forward. And still, when a woman is raped, people ask, well, what was she wearing? This is a grotesque over-exaggeration. Um, no one, barely no one has ever asked this question. And even though clothing may have a small impact when it comes to rape, because, you know, there are certain situations where clothing does play a factor, although that factor is very, very small, no one is going to say that. No one's going to ask that question. This argument, this is basically said more by feminists than actual people. Rape, regardless of what one is wearing or not wearing, is fucking wrong. No, she didn't have it coming. No, she didn't deserve it. Bye, Felicia. Feminism is not about hating men. We're not man haters. No, but you see men as potential rapists. Just saying. It also doesn't make someone a lesbian because they think that men and women should be paid equally. I fucking knew it. The wage gap argument. Oh, God fucking damn. Uh, maybe it's gonna be different. Maybe, just maybe it's gonna be different. Just maybe. I'm really I'm hoping. I'm really hoping instead. A survey of millennials by Wells Fargo showed that for every dollar a man earned, a woman earned 73 cents. Oh, for f 
fuck's sakes! Ah, uh, god damn it all! Alright. I will have to explain myself again and again and again until somehow I manage to drill it into every feminist head about the fucking wage gap argument! Let me tell you something about the wage gap. You're not being paid less because of vagina. You're being paid less because the majority of women perform less work by hours, by performance, by, um, they tend to take more days off than men. They tend to graduate uh, towards more safer jobs. And they're more, they're less likely to negotiate their pay. And somehow, in your tiny vagina head, somehow, you believe that women are being paid less because of vagina. Therefore, sexism. Oh, God. Oh. I want to know what the worst part is. The wage gap is not that accurate. It's not. For the majority of you on this Tumblr who can't spell for shit, let me make this simpler for you. That's women making an annual income of $21,000 less than men for doing the same exact job. No, it's not wrong to believe in traditional values. Feminism means that women have the right to wear what they want and believe in what they want, but still make the same goddamn money as a man who can wear what he wants and believe in what he wants to. Are we still on the wage gap argument? Ugh. Feminism is not about not taking responsibility for your actions. It's about people being responsible for their actions. Oh great, we can agree on one thing. So, a woman getting drunk is her fault. And nobody else's, right? And, you know, there are times where she could have prevented rape if she actually come prepared. Hmm. Yeah. Seems just about right. Maybe you don't need feminism, but part of the reason that we're able to speak out on these issues is because of feminism. I got nothing. Just, let's just move on. So don't ruin it for the rest of us! Spell check. Uh, feminism was already ruined from people like yourself. And also, can you, can you see this? There, there we go. Stop watching what Fox News calls news about feminism and read actual literature on what feminism is and what it can be. No, thank you. I won't read any feminist literature even though I can read it on the internet for absolutely free. Not to mention that we have all these feminist videos on the internet. And believe me when I say this, you are just one of the millions of YouTubers that I've encountered who said the exact same thing. The only thing I have any use for feminist literature is to wipe my ass with it. You know, use it as substitute toilet paper. Feminism is a personal commitment to understanding and achieving gender equality in everyday life. Bye bye, Felicia! Ladies and gentlemen, I met some pretty stupid YouTubers. Ones that I think are the greatest cancer on this planet and I think I found one of them probably the most deadly because this woman has gone as far as to 
look down on other women if they oppose feminism. You know, I think that is all I have to say, that this person is just one big fat tumor. So, to you, the person who loves vagina, who worships her own freaking vagina, if you're gonna come up with a video response, at least don't act like a total drama queen. Don't act all high and snobby like, okay? Because we already have enough of those people around. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. You know what? I'm gonna have to say it. She looks like the skitty version of Vicky Guerrero. Oof! I got that on my chest. Okay, now the real ending plays. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google Plus fucking sucks.